So the last time we were together, we created uh, styrofoam relief prints inspired by T Manila, and we looked at implied motion. We used patterns to convey movement in our coral reef scene with the with the waves of the water and with the zigzags that we used in our Filipino textile patterns. Today what we're going to do is use an app uh, with your partner to create actual motion in an artwork while also looking at how symmetry is created and 3D space as far as uh, the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis come into play. So when you get your iPad, you go ahead and click that button, and it's important that you write down this number, all right? We don't need this stuff, but you do need this, iPad 16, whatever number it is. So turn it on, write that on your sketch paper, and we can slide to open it, and we're looking for the Forge of Neon application. So I click on that. Now this is a free app. We do have to deal with some ads. Please don't play the ads. Um, we just want to work around that. So with Forge of Neon, we want to go ahead and play. <clears throat> so now it's a black screen, but if I tap it, it gives me color choices. So I could pick any one of those colors. It also gives me a selection of brushes. So if I click on that, there's a variety of brushes I can use. For the, the sake of starting, I'm going to choose the single dot. All right, we can work on the X, Y, and Z axis. I'm going to work with Y, all right? And then we have the points of reference for, for symmetry. It could be any one of those. I'm going to use eight to start with. And you can uh, deal with the exposure, how bright things are, how they glow, so forth. So once that's set, you got your color that you want to start with, you'll hit done. Now, uh, what we have to do is really just draw one side of the image, and it creates it. All right? And you're going to see that the movement is already part of the application. So that has eight points of reference. If I want to go in then and change color, hit done, I can go ahead and add more inside there. Right? And again, you'll notice that I'm only really dragging on one side. Whatever it does this, the computer does uh, the other. If I want to go in and change colors one more time, I can do that. If I want to change the brush, I can do that too. Hit done. You never want to hit quit until we're sure we're finished with it. And I'm going to go ahead and add something on the outside. If you need to delete, there is an undo, so I can click on that and get rid of it, All right? Let's say, you know what, I'm going to go in, I'm going to change, just so you can see, I'm going to go with 64 points of reference, hit done. So now, you can see how it gives us more reference points along it. You can see the image better, All right? So ideally, in your design today, I would like you and your partner to use uh, a minimum of three colors, so you've got that. And notice all of mine is along one axis so far. I'm using that, that vertical Y. But I would also like you to use at least one of the other axis in your design as well. So I could use the X and it would run along the horizontal, or I could use the Z and it would run coming forward in and out to create that space. Now, one of the other things that you can do is you can also, I can, I can pan and zoom it down here, which means I can zoom out. And by doing that then, I can add more to my design. So if I wanted to go out and create another ring, I could do that. I wanna go up, I can do that as well, all right? Now, if I click on that, that's pan zoom. If I hit this, it says rotate. And using two fingers, notice how I use two fingers to zoom in and out, I can rotate it. So we can actually look at our design in different ways, right? Using those two fingers to kind of steer it, which is pretty rad. You can not get a sense of what your design would look um, from multiple angles. It allows you to see that whole shape. Now, 
Uh, if you want to continue to add to it, you can. All right, I'm going to flip mine completely upside down. Uh, I'm going to go to pan and zoom. I'm going to select another color, but I'm going to go in and change the axis. So I picked X. It's going to run the design horizontally now. If I want to change the shape, the brush, I can. So I do that. And so now where I start it, you can see how it's going to run off of that design. I don't like that. I'm going to go ahead. I thought I changed the color and I didn't. I want to be able to see that again. So you can see how that's bringing it off. I'm going to rotate that so I can see the horizontal axis a little better. And then I can go ahead and I can add something on the other side. So again, if I look at it, I can see how those are emanating off of another axis, All right? Check this out. You can also slow down uh, the speed of it. So now you're gonna notice that the, the pulsating lights are slow. So it's up to you. Uh, you can only work with one speed, so you can't play with multiple speeds for the whole thing right, and you can see that's faster so it's up to you and your partner where you want it to go so I've used X and Y if I want to add another axis to it I'm going to go back to pan and zoom and zoom out even more and let's see what it does if we use the Z I'm gonna pick another color just so we can see those a little easier. So that is coming out at us. And if you don't like it, if you don't like those, you can always get rid of it. So again, we could rotate it and see what that looks like from different angles. Right. Once you and your partner have it, you've used at least two of the axes. You have at least three colors. You're satisfied with the speed and the color. Tap the screen one more time, and you're going to go to export. Right. So you can kind of see what it looks like. Now, it will set as a six-minute loop. So if you want to get it, you can see it's in that position. So whatever position you want to see the final design in that's where you would want to save I'm going to kind of get it set up however you want it so let's say if I want that you can see how that changed all right so I can hit export it's going to export it And now it's saved it to your photos. So we will get an ad here. Get rid of that. So if you want to check to make sure you got it, you go to photos. You can see video right there. And you can play it. And we've got it. And what I will do then is I'm going to email these files to your teachers. And you can share them with each other in class. Here's another one that was done the other day. So you could see that. So this was built primarily just on that one axis. And that's it. So you're looking for three colors, two axis, save it as a movie, and then I'll be selecting uh, examples of this uh, movie to show as part of a film festival with Celebration of Art at the end of the year. So good luck. Work well with your partner. Have fun and learn about symmetry, 3D space, and movement.